are gonna learn all about drum baffles, these circular pieces of plexiglass right here in front of the drum set. What difference do they make? Why would you want to use them for your worship drum set? And here to tell us all about drum baffles are uh, Matthew. Hey, Matthew Shelmo, how are you guys Shelmo. doing? From drumbaffles.com. So Matthew, um, you're the founder yeah. of drumbaffles.com? That's right. Awesome. And so tell us real quick, why did you have to create drum baffles? Sure. Well, uh, we created drum baffles to uh, minimize the initial impact of the cymbals. Uh, when a drummer hits the cymbals, it, it sends sound waves flying, uh, and we want the drum baffles to refract the sound away from microphones, from the congregation, uh, from your whoever's watching the gig. Um, and the purpose uh, is just simply that. Because the downside of all that energy coming to microphones is like it could bleed into your mix. And like yeah. I know I've had that before when, you know, back in years where I was a little bit greener as a mix engineer, sure. I was like, trying to, I was like fighting, my vocals were fighting the cymbals on the drum set. And I was like, man, why, why are the drums so loud? I was like turning my overhead mics down a ton. Right. And then I was trying to turn my gain on my vocal mics up, but it was actually picking up the cymbals of the, of the drums on stage. Absolutely. When, when you have in-ears in and you hear the drummer behind you um, and not having them in your mix, you know there's yeah. a problem. Yeah. Uh, so this, this helps with um, that cymbal bleed. Um, it pushes the sound backwards. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of churches and bands, uh, they have bigger stages uh, and uh, they're not against a wall. Um, and that's ideal. So the sound travels backwards. Uh, you're st still gonna hear the cymbals, uh, but the idea is to let the kick, the tom, snare, breathe. Um, you know, back in the battlefield when you had that, that the snare drum, the, it, it resonated, they, they had a drum because it resonated uh, over the fields and everyone heard it. Um, but that's not the nuisance. The nuisance is the symbols, in, in my opinion. Yeah, totally. And maybe explain to folks like how do they discern if baffles are gonna really solve their specific problem yeah. versus like full enclosure versus like getting more acoustic treatment in the room. Sure. Uh, Cause we're in a decent sized room here on a decent sized stage. The, this room could hold a thousand people. So there is plenty of you know space out here for the, the sound energy to kind of disperse across the room and you get the chairs to absorb. Yeah. Um, yeah. But like, how do people discern if they're just like kind of dealing with really overwhelming cymbal sound, cymbal yeah. energy, drum sound, like how do they discern if this is the right solution, I guess? So we feel that a drummer should be out of a cage, um, but there's great companies that make drum enclosures and they're beautiful, um, good people uh, and we, we initially started building drum enclosures up in Georgia um, back in 2015. It, it took a lot of energy off the stage. Like the bass player, they can't feel the kick. Uh, the team's energy is, just, is diminished some. Um, so we had to pump you know, a sub on the stage or a speaker so the band can feel the kick. And that kind of defeated the purpose of an enclosure for us. Um, a lot of these enclosures have plexiglass or Lexan on, you know, three of the four corners or four walls. And that creates a lot of high frequency hash. One drum mic picks up everything. Um, so you really only need one, one mic or two mics left and right uh, to pick up the whole kit in that, in that um, enclosure. So what bringing the drummer out of the drum cage does is allows the, the front of house engineer, your in-ear mix, sounds so much better. You can have um, you know, targeted um, mic pickup um, per instrument. So your, your toms are gonna have cleaner sound. The gates aren't going to be going crazy because uh, with the sound waves is bouncing around in, in, in a cage or one of those um, acrylic walls you know, with, without, a, without a top, it's still um, this far, um, supersedes that. How important is just the ability of a drummer too to appropriately like play the room sure. that they're in? Sure, so say a drummer should play like there's nothing in front of them. So play to the energy of the, of the band um, and don't have a heavy hand. I mean, that's, I mean, a controlled drummer, every 
um, worship director and uh, sound, sound engineer loves a controlled drummer um, to where they're not overwhelming the room with, with the kit. Um, so it's, it's ideal that, you know, we're, I'm not having them using hot rods or anything like that with this system. Um, just don't be killing the, the crash. I mean, it's just, but we have solutions. If you want the decay of the cymbal to lessen, uh, we have uh, cymbal dampeners that you can, you can put underneath the bell or right next to the bell of the cymbal underneath the cymbal. And that shortens the decay, shortens the length of, of the ring out of the, of the cymbal. So um, there's some solutions to help with that. Um, but acoustic treatment in your room, no matter if you have a drummer or not, is, is the thing that, that churches and uh, ministries need to invest in. Um, and that only helps a solution like this. Um, but it's a live, it's a live feel. And man, our, our congregation, I, I feel like changed when, when we brought the drummer out of, out of the booth. Or we had one of those, um, the panel uh, drum booths uh, when I came on staff at our church in Jupiter. Um, and the, the, the room changed. It, 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 there was life. I, I felt when we did that. And you didn't have people like complaining like, ah, oh, the drums are too loud now. No, you know what's funny? Like the people like filled that section of, of the room quicker. Uh, and I don't, I don't know why they did that. Um, I, there's just a lot of energy. It's a lot of excitement. So. Yeah, you mentioned absorption. I, I found like if you guys are dealing with like, especially a smaller space, smaller stage, yeah. absorption probably will be important because your stage will, you know, it might function like a uh, amplifying box, uh, resonating right. box for the whole drum set. So I, I would say like getting some good absorption panels, uh, especially behind, in perhaps maybe in like on the ceiling above the drum set. Yeah, that anything helps, uh, anything yeah. helps. Uh, we, we use Earthworks mics, um, Audix mics are, are great. Um, uh, my, my friend uh, Doug Gould, he, he uh, works with Audix and um, he, he goes around the country with our, our drum baffles, uh, Worship MD. And um, the good mic uh, solves a lot of, of uh, mixing issues. So if you're trying to, if you're trying to use a, a, a cheap mic, it's still not going to sound good no matter if you're in a, a drum cage or, or out in the open like this. Yeah, and then t walk us through like kind of the process. Okay, I'm like, I want to get drum baffles. Sure. How many do I get? What size should they be? What do I need for stands? Like walk me through. So that. there's there's like two or three uh, people that are selling drum baffles. Um, we, I, I have nothing bad to say about any of them. Uh, one one difference is we have a rubber grommet in the middle of the circle. Yeah, actually, let me let me bring one out for you here. So this is um, here at TC3. They 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 purchased our first edition drum baffles. This is our, our newest edition. Um, so see that rubber grommet? Yep. It allows the the baffle to kind of flex a little bit, and it won't crack in the inside. Oh yeah. Um, we we get these laser cut, so our logo is a little bit more cleaner than our first edition. Um, we we are paying more for material costs. Um, we've got, you know, quarter inch, quarter inch um, acrylic. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't, you can't snap that. Yeah. Most of our competitors using like one eighth inch, like half of that. Yeah. This yeah. is what, this is why there's such a price difference with, you know, if you find one on Amazon. Um, so that's what, that's why our price is, is higher yeah, than. Hold that. Show the, yeah, big difference. Yeah, see that difference? Yep. So this could do the same thing this can do. This is gonna last longer. It's, it, you won't see it bending or warping. Yeah, it's watching, more about durability, durability than it is the actual refraction. I was watching, a, a, I think, a, a Bethel video, um, and I just, I saw them, I was like, well, those mine? <laughs> and, and they weren't because I saw, it was kind of like Boeing. They, I think they had 30s or something like that. Um, we've, we've manufactured, um, the only 32 inch bag. So, so like it's an enormous symbol bag, but we've manufactured have sleeves for compartments so it can protect, uh, your investment. Uh, so you can find this on our website 
and every every order we we send a um, it's kind of you know how sweet water they send candy we send a record you know with ours um, and uh, some cleaning cloths and every every bundle we include a um, symbol dampener so uh, and then you guys have stands on your in your store yeah, our, and then our, our website uh, you can get merch you can get stands baffles bundles um, the stands which we're using um, just symbol stands uh, we have relationship with a company that uh, we sell through our website um, and they're relatively cheap considering uh, what what uh, hardware costs right now so but you can use your own you can use your own furnace stands um, boom or straight I like the straight it's kind of low profile uh, but we got some black flat black ones uh, boom stands on our website um, well, thanks, Matt. I yeah. feel like I have a lot more clarity if I were to go about, you know, shopping for these and getting these set up, understanding what, you know, use case is appropriate for them. Uh, check out the Drum Baffles link down below, guys, uh, to go check out their site. Reach out to Matt and his team. Uh, let us know. We let them know we sent you. If you found this video helpful, leave a good old thumbs up below. Share it with your friends in worship ministry, and we'll see you next time. All right. See you guys. Thank you so much.